There's the call to the post, and horses are on the track for the first race of the week at the DuCoin State Fair, the first half of the Daily Double, win, play, show, exact, a wagering, no changes in either race one or race two. Race one for trotters, non-winners of two pair mutual races or $5,000 life. Number one, Silent Angel, owned by John Nessa, and four, a shoemaker of Aldemont, trained by John Nessa, Fremont, Michigan's Michael Osting in the bike. Number two, Lexi's Chip, is owned by Ron Michael, lot of Chicago, trained by Tex Motes of Fairfield. The driver is Andy Miller. Number three, Gia's Eternal, is owned by Richard, Rick, and Arlene Flacco's Flacco Family Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Alexis, trained by Joel Miller. Ken Holliday is the driver. Here's number four, Classic Charge, leased and trained by Steve Wagner of Charleston. Dale Heitman is up. Number five, Arlene's Rose is owned by Clark Fairley of Lerna and owned also by Marlene Fairley of Charleston, trained by Clark, and Clark is in the bike. And two a T is number six, owned by Stephen Renard of Hamilton, trained and driven by Alan Bowen, who hails from Mount Sterling, Illinois. Track condition is fast. First race, first half of the Daily Double right now, less than five minutes remaining post. until post. The gate's rolling for the first half of the Daily Double. Here they come. They're off and trotting, and we're underway at DuCoin. Gia's Eternal goes out for the early lead. Arlene's Rose gets away second. Silent Angel is right there toward the inside with a ground-saving trip around the first turn and moves up into the second spot. Gia's Eternal has the lead by a length and a half to Silent Angel, who goes second. Arlene's Rose is parked third outside of Lexi's Chip, who's racing in the fourth position. Then Classic Charge is fifth, and to a T is sixth and last. Arlene's Rose is the trotter who's still parked out, not able to find a spot on the rail. At the quarter mile mark, Gia's Eternal leads it off a quarter and 30 and three fifths, and here comes Lexi's Chip to the outside. Two year old filly, Lexi's Chip moves up but is off stride entering the backstretch. And Gia's Eternal leads it by one length. Silent Angel is there in the second position. Arlene's Rose is still parked in third. She's been parked for three eighths of a mile now. Classic Charge is locked in toward the rail in fourth. Two a T is a close up fifth. Lexi's Chip is back trotting, but she's sixth, eight lengths off the lead. They're halfway home chasing Gia's Eternal, who leads Silent Angel by one length. Arlene's Rose is still parked in third. They got the half in 101 and four fifths. Classic Charge is behind that pair in fourth. Two a T is fifth. Lexi's Chip is sixth and last. Six lengths off the lead. Two a T is moving from the back of the pack. Midway on the final turn, Gia's Eternal leads it by a length to Arlene's Rose, who's still parked in second. Silent Angel against the rail in third. Another length to two a T outside of Classic Charge. They're joined by Lexi's Chip, who's on the outside five lengths off the lead. Gia's Eternal at the three quarters leads Arlene's Rose by one length. The three quarters, 133 and one. Silent Angel is buried against the rail. Two a T is fourth up on the outside. Lexi's Chip fans wide, four lengths off the lead. Classic Charge needs room. It's wide open. Anybody's horse race. Arlene's Rose. Now Silent Angel getting through. Two a T. Lexi's Chip on the far outside. Classic Charge on a break. And through it all, here comes two a T from a crowd of horses for the lead. Then Lexi's Chip. Coming to the line, to a T, Lexi's Chip, Silent Angel, Arlene's Rose, to a T, wins it by a length. Lexi's Chip was second, Silent Angel got third in 202 and three fifths. If you follow Chicago horse racing, you've probably been watching a horse by the name of Big Green Machine, who's a very tough, older Illinois bred pacer. His mother, was a mare named Dancing Almahurst, a windshield wiper mare, who raced on the Grand Circuit back in the late 1970s and early 1980s. And Alan Bowen of Mount Sterling was the man who trained and drove that mare to many of her stakes wins. That was when a lot of us first became familiar with the name Alan Bowen. And he's in the winner's circle. He's from Mount Sterling. He trains and drives the Stephen Renard owned to a T, number six, the unofficial winner of the first race. Stephen Renard, the owner, hails from Hamilton, Illinois, up in the northwestern part of the state. He also bred this four-year-old generator filly who picks up a new lifetime record, 202 and three, with her sixth win of the year and pulls a mild upset to kick things off at DuCoin 
for 2002. Number two, Lexi's chip was second. The one Silent Angel third. Result is still unofficial.